goodness ah. me, what is going on? Let's get back to the three of the most lucky racks by the one and only, the magician Efren Batareyes. Three racks that will surely surprise and entertain you while Efren Reyes displays his breathtaking magic and unbelievable skills. Sit back, relax, get ready to be amazed. This is the 8th rack of the World 9 World Championship 2006. Efren makes a good cut break and successfully makes the wing ball, which is the 5 ball on the corner pocket. He also had an opening shot on the 1 ball. Oh, playing to run into the ball. A very clever play as Efren bumps the 2 ball, freeing it from the 8 ball. The magic of Reyes. A very nicely executed stun follow through shot for position on the three ball next. Keep watching how this run out unfolds as Efren is very close to running out. This may seem a regular run out, but something unexpected will happen here. Everybody wants their photograph taken with him, everybody wants his autograph. It's, um, he smiles and Notice where Efren landed on the 8 ball, a very awkward angle to get to the 9 ball next. He got a little too far because I think he played position on the side pocket for the 8 ball. Now he will be forced to pocket the 8 ball on the long corner pocket and watch this very carefully. I've heard some interviews post match with him over the years on the uh, San Miguel Asian tour and he always, he's always praising the other guy. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, what is going on here? Is he going to fluke the 9? He's fluked the 9. If you ever want to hear a crowd go wild, just fluke an iron ball. The crowd could not believe what happened as Efren Reyes missed the 8 ball and then magically makes the 9 ball on the same pocket. Even his opponent, Tony Crosby, could not believe on how on earth did he perfectly hit the 9 ball to pocket it on the corner pocket. What is going on here? Is he going to fluke the 9? He's fluked the 9. Take this, another look. This guy comes up with some great shots, but every single person in this auditorium knows this was just an outrageous fluke. It is clear that Efren Reyes used a lot of inside spin on the cue ball to get closer to the 9 after putting the 8, but he missed the 8 ball and the cue ball did the magic. 7 ball, 7 ball. This is the Derby City Classic 2005, a match between Efren Reyes and Mika Imunen. Mika haven't scored yet and Efren breaks the fifth track of the game. Efren made a one ball on the break but does not have a shot on the two ball. So he elected to play a push out and now Mika Imunen will have the choice of accepting it or pass it back. Considering how he's behind the game, he has to take this one and make a good safety because he can't afford to give Efren another chance. Three nothing, your decisions are a little different. Safe all the way here. That's what he did and it's going to be a decent one. Okay, now he's left Reyes a shot on the two, a very, very... Mika failed to make a save, now the two ball is exposed. He's trying to do that though. See, this was the problem, all the obstructions, you know. Efren makes a great cut shot on the two ball, but he bumped the nine ball down table, and now he is snookered behind the eight ball. But as we all know, Efren Reyes is the best kicker in pool, and he can kick balls into intended pockets, which is legendary. Watch this very carefully. He hit it. He hit Not it. Not only did he hit it, he, he made hit it inside he, on a kiss. He hit it straight in the face. He hit it. He hit it. Not only did he hit it, he hit it. He hit it straight in the face. Oh. Efren just made a magic kick shot on the three ball, managing to kick it full. As it goes around, it bumps the cue ball again and went straight towards the side pocket. Mika Imunen thought he would get back to the table as Efren was snookered. But to his surprise, Efren makes the impossible. He certainly plays good enough to because the kick was a different Efren is known for not giving his opponents a lot of chances and that he always dominated them in terms of skill, experience, and table IQ. This match proved to be that Efren Reyes is the best player of all time as he overshadowed Mika Imunen, which is also a multi awarded player and a BCA Hall of Famer. This is not new to Efren since he already defeated a lot of world class players in the US, including Nick Varner, Mike Siegel, and Earl Strickland. Most of your body is still as possible, just let your right arm do the work. Oh, that's a brilliant one. Oh, look at that. 
at this, look at this. No, oh, it's... <laughs> you can't believe it, no. can you? Oh. Thank you. This one is another great track of FNRS of the WPA World 9 World Championship as he go against Rodaslo Babika. Babika made three balls on the break but doesn't have an opening shot on the one ball. It's a bit shy of pace, I think. Oh, he might just have got there. He makes a safety play instead, but still the one ball is exposed. Efren can see the one ball and he can elect to play safe. But this one is a hill hill match and Efren should execute perfectly because this could cost him the entire match. What does he do? Efren has a very deep knowledge of the table and he plays with percentages and probabilities. He always takes risks and oftentimes get rewarded. He sometimes loses as well because of his aggressive approach, but this man has no fear and he always believes in himself. The confidence he has is way above everyone else. He has a lot of guts and sometimes does not care even how big the tournament is and takes very risky shots. Just going past the six, but it's so risky. And with no safety net, why would you take that risk? Well, they make it a, a slight element of safety. Oh, that's a great oh, shot. That is a great shot. What an epic surprise bank shot on the one ball by the magician. Everyone thought he would play some kind of safety, but the maestro decides to go aggressive. What a shot! What a shot! An element of surprise as Efren goes offensive mode and bangs the one ball on the long corner pocket and he did that full of confidence and without hesitation in a heel heel encounter. A very unique style with a fearless heart of a lion and devours his prey hole and dominates them in every match and makes big shots that no other player could have done. Many people, former player and sports analyst, consider him as the greatest of all time. He is a member of the BCA Hall of Fame and everyone loves the way he conducts himself. A very down-to-earth person with a big heart. Efren Reyes reached the round 32 of the tournament but was defeated by his fellow Filipino Ronato Alcano. One thing we can realize, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Of course, no one will be the next Efren Reyes. I think it's best if we stop looking for one. But it's safe to say that the new generation will be looking to the master for tips and how to be a great pool player, both on and off the table. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.